Hello everyone, this is Silver Praetorian, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Now, who are you, Camel? It's too hot for Gobi. Oh, you're Gobi? Looks like this is your valley. Yeah, of course we'll help you out, Gobi. I mean, why wouldn't we? Alright, there you go. Feel free. Run to your shade and water and stuff. Go on and cool down. This desert is too hot. Man, this desert is too hot for me, let alone you. Wait, where's that magic carpet ride? No, no magic... No! Come on, Kazooie! You're... You're not good enough. Oh, nicely done there, Kazooie. Okay, so now that we've lost most of our, most of our life, let's keep going and grab these feathers. And... A honeycomb switch. Press it, and... Empty honeycomb piece aside appears inside the... Is it not over there? That is not going to be fun to get. Luckily for us, it's not a time challenge or anything. Once we press that, it's there for the rest of the level, so we just need to hopefully fly in there without dying. Anyway, up here is another switch, so let's press U and race on down into the temple. Grab these coins along the way, or not coins. Wow, what am I playing? Mario? They're jiggy. Or they're notes. Wow, I can't keep anything straight. Anyway, in here is another mummy, which we use our last golden feather on, and a bunch of tiles with Banjo and Kazooie's face on them. Huh. Well, this is a um, fun little... I use the term fun kind of loosely, it's just here, but it's a memory match game. Once we press the first one, we have 100 seconds to try to match all of them. So just keep pressing randomly until we find one that we've already hit, and hopefully try to remember where I've found things, and... Wow, I'm getting pretty lucky. Banjo was this one, I hope? No, I mean this one. Oh yeah, and if you accidentally hit it before they're all the way flipped back over, they will not finish flipping over. Wasn't the note over here? No, that was a Jinjo. Yeah, like that. So we hit that. Oh, the Jinjo was right next to the Jinjo. And this is the honeycomb piece, which was this one. Okay, yes. And then over here we have blue egg, which was down here in the corner. And then we have probably Mumbo, which I think Mumbo was here. Yep. And then we have the last ones, the note and the note. And now that we've completed it, it's our reward. Why a jiggy, of course. And. That puts us... Hmm, we're getting pretty good progress in this world. We have already most of the jiggies. We just need to keep collecting notes and get the empty honeycomb pieces, which... Uh, I wonder if we can actually help that tree out. Let's go see him. I mean, maybe we can see about pouring more water down there like there is there. Let's go pay him a visit anyway. And... and oh, and there's Gobi. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, so... This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for my... And here I thought you were nice, Gobi, but you're just a big jerk. Give that tree some water. Lovely water... Wait, wait, did Gobi just walk on water? I think he just walked on water. Wow, that camel has some serious skills if he can walk on water. Didn't he just run over quicksand, too? Damn, Gobi does have some skills. Okay, let's crawl up here and grab this Jiggy. And yay, that puts us at 7, I think? Yeah, we only have... Wow, we're almost done with this world almost. That's pretty impressive speed. Alright, let's just ride these so I can get around where I'm going faster. And didn't I... I'll have to... Actually, no, I want to get on here because I want to try to get in that Danny piece. Since it's going to be a jerk. Carpet ride. I said carpet ride. This is not going to be fun. I need to get life. I don't want to die here. If I'm going to die, I really don't want to die, but if I'm going to die, I would prefer to be on Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah, there is a Jiggy up here, so huh, we're pretty much done here. We only have two more Jiggies left to get. But anyway, let's... um. Um, actually, that seems like a horrible idea, because if I miss the 
Oh, look, it's Gobi and some notes. And let's see if I can get in here. And yes, I can. Grab these notes. You know, you're a jerk. You need more punishment, Gobi. Oh, empty honeycomb piece. Awesome. Let's see, I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Um, alright, bye, Gobi. See you next game. And then we can just hopefully not die. And yes, nice job, Banjo and Kazooie. Let's um grab some feather. No. Oh, that was very close. I don't want to die. Dying is a very, very bad thing. <laughs> very bad thing. Okay, let's get some more life. There was a yes, there was a beehive over here. So let's just jump up here and here and. Technique for this is just to run in circles and to get the honeycomb pieces and get out of dodge before they catch up to me. And with that done, let's. Actually, if I remember right, there were some notes on the. Yes, there are. Let's grab these notes. See if we can get all the notes ahead of time. And maybe we should jump up here and I said jump up here and good job, Banjo and Kazooie. I should... Hmm, I don't know which one really does more of the... Okay, I know Kazooie does more of the work. That's That goes without a contest. Okay, let's grab this note. I want to grab this note. I want to grab this... Good job. Alright, but yeah, before you drain out the water, you can fall down there and land in the brambles down there. Actually, there are notes down there. Let's go down here and grab them. But yeah, if you do fall down here, the way you get out is there's these flight paths every so often which you can use to fly out of here. It's still a pain in the butt, though, and it's best to just drain this out before you even go near the moat. Oh, Jinjo! I forgot you were down there, Jinjo! Okay, so let's grab these notes. And 72, is that all of them? Ooh, mumbo took them. We're gonna need more of these. Mumbo's in the next world. Swim up here to the top. And let's fill you up with eggs. Alright. And the banjo pharaoh head thing disappears in, and it looks like a pyramid's raising out of the center. And there's another banjo head thing. So let's go around the outside and feed them up with eggs. Feed them up with eggs. Great grammar there. Grab these notes while we're going along here so I don't forget about them. And shoot you. Oh man, why couldn't that last day go in your mouth? Alright, there we go. That's two of them. We're probably gonna have to have four. This game likes to go with the number four a lot. Four and three. Eh. Anyway, let's keep going. Grab these notes. I'm trying to think what else I'm missing. Not that much, really, now that I think about it. Let's grab this. And camera angle around so I can jump onto the knot. Nicely done, Banjo. And that's... No, wait, I think actually this is three of them. Yeah, it is only three. Okay. And then we have one more pyramid to look into. This should have our final note. Final note. Final jiggy aside from the Jinjo jiggy, and I want more life, so this bug should die. Nicely done, Kazooie. Which life does that put us at? Almost full. That should be good enough to start going after that empty honeycomb piece with. And up here, grab these notes, and then we only have 15 left. Ooh, wow. Almost panic there. That could have been bad. Stupid camera angle. Let's jump on up here, and then we can climb on up here, and carefully, good job, Kazooie, and into the pyramid. King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. We're not afraid of any King Sandy. Um, okay, maybe we are. Alright. Two main things to keep an eye out for in this maze. First off is not dying, because not dying is a very good thing. Secondly is, I believe around this corner, there is a grunty switch. Yes, there is. And that opens up a Jiggy in the Hub world, like the rest of them do. 
gonna have to grab that. Actually, with the speed shoes, we'll be able to get the Freezy Peak Crunchy Switch Jiggy as well. So let's see, just freeze through here. And this music gets faster and faster with each loop of it. Frantic, isn't it? Anyway, we're done here, so let's grab these few notes. No, the bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic. Oh, huh, there's a Jinjo. And some golden feathers. Awesome. And it gives us our ninth Jiggy. And the tenth should be right here. And that is Gobi's Valley more or less completed. Well, yeah, we still need to get the other Mickey Come Peace and the rest of the notes, but aside from that, let's grab these gold feathers. Gold feathers are nice to have. Where am I missing gold um, notes at? I hope I don't have to come back in here. I might have to, though. Notes, notes, how many am I missing? Let's find out. Pause. I'm missing eight. Where would eight notes be hiding? Uh, oh, they're probably along the outside there. That's right. Just have to go grab them later. But for now... Actually, I could probably grab them first, since I need to go out and fly around. Alright, so let's go grab those now. Probably have to... I really don't want to have to split up these videos weird, but I suppose I could just have this one run long. I may end up just having this video be a long one, guys. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh, wow. I meant to go to the waiting boots first to get the things on the outside, but I went to the flight point instead. Anyway, let's grab that empty honey go piece. Hopefully in one try. Hopefully. I don't know if I'm that lucky. Then again, this file has gone pretty good with me in flying. I mean... When I rated Freezy Peak on this file so I could be caught up, I one-shot all the snowmen, so who knows. I'll take it. I'll take it, I said. Oh my god. That went better than I could have hoped, really. But yes, that brings us up to yet another chunk of life. We only have one more life extension we can get in this game, so... We'll probably be go-getting that in... Another three worlds, actually. <laughs> anyway, let's just run down here and see if I can't land perfectly on the waiting boots. Spoiler, I can't. Alright, so there should be eight notes here, and that should finish up the world for us. And yes, it does, actually. Good job. And that puts us at 17 mumbo tokens. That's pretty good, because we're going to need 20 of those, I think, in the next world, and 25 in the final. And that's all 100 notes, so just to double check before I leave, the totals. Gobi's Valley is complete in only 25 minutes. Not bad, Banjo, not bad at all. And we helped out a bunch of people, we punished a jerk camel, and we received the help of the ancients and stole a mummy's gold. Not bad for a day's work. Okay, let's see, let's grab... Uh, actually, you know, if I'm gonna make this run long, I might as well end up getting the final Jiggy and Freezy Peak that I needed anyway, too. And... Let's see, first off, let's grab this Jiggy over here. So let's just run up here and jump up and... Too short. Oh, good thing there's this jump pad running around here. Let's see if I can't grab it that way. Good job, Banjo. Alright, so that puts us at 6 overworld. Monsters chase you, they're a hounding. Then you'll get a grunty pounding. Nicely done, grunty. Nicely done. Alright, let's see. That's already open. We're set up to get this jiggy, though. This is actually a real jerk jiggy to get. Um, oh man, there's gonna be a snowman here too, isn't there? Yes, there is. Jerks. You're all jerks. And fly. Oh, I don't want to fly up there. I want to... Nice recovery, Kazooie. Alright, so... Here, there's... Actually, isn't there a mumbo token if we ride this up the rest of the way? I think there is. If I already collected this, I think I've explained I'm actually playing this game twice, two different files in case one play goes badly or something. 
like Rusty Bucket Bay probably will. Anyway, how this works is we smash that. And then we just run like the Dickens. And hopefully get to that flight point before the timer runs out. This is not a fun one to get. With one second to spare, I think that's one of the best times I've had for that. Okay, anyway, now we can just fly up through this upper passage thing. Which will bring us out into... Come on, Banjo, work with me. Alright, which will bring us out into Crazy Peak once more, and we can get this one. And that puts us at seven overworld jiggies, if I'm not mistaken. And we have one more we can grab. So let's just dive right on down here. And head on in. And I will show you the rematch against Boggy. And actually, this will be a good chance to show you exactly what does happen when you re-enter a world you've previously been in. Um, as you see here, all the notes have reappeared, which is a bit of a jerk. However, everything that is Jiggy related stays the same. So all the notes and power-ups and stuff reset and enemies reset. All the Jiggy related stuff you've done remains done. So why am I going over there? Hey buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to accept or beat a chicken out. You know what? I'll accept your race. Okay buddy, here's the rules. Run through the red sound and yep, beat him to the end. Same as before. But he is very fast, so we need to be as well. So now we just have to not fail and hopefully do this. Um. Oh wow, this is not going to be... I hope I do this in one try, because this is an annoying one to get, really. It's not as bad as a few of the Jiggies in Banjo-Tooie, which I will be showing you guys later on. I intend to continue on to that game after this one, but they're still kind of annoying. Oh my god. I do not want to fall in this water. What is that growling noise there? I do not know what that is. Anyway, I think I'm set up to be perfectly fine here now. Let's just jump that so I'm not worrying. And nicely done, Banjo. You got this one in the bag. Good job, Kazooie. You too. You both did perfect. You lost again. You know what? Yeah, we will take your other mo- And now you go to look for these kids' presents? Yeah, yeah, we already took care of that, you jerk. Go say hi to your kids for us. Alright, and that is our final Jiggy for this world, and now Freezy Peak is also complete. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. And nicely job. Nicely done. Nicely job. Uh, nicely done. But um, before we go, actually, I don't know if I explained this last time I was in this world, so I'll take the time to do it now. If you notice, when I went up here to grab this Jinjo, there was this item over here. See that key there floating in the background? That is the ice key. What um, Rare originally intended to do with Banjo-Kazooie is they intended it to be uh, plug-and-play technology. As I understand it, it was like this was supposed to be part of a system called um, Stop and Swap or Stoop and Swap, something like that. I'd have to look it up. I could correct myself later. But how it intended to work was while you're playing Banjo-Tooie, you would come across a point where you'd be able to unlock a way into this location, per se, like you'd open the door or something, and then what you'd do is you would pull out Banjo-Tooie, and you would plug it back in Banjo-Kazooie, and then you would run over there and get the ice key, and by getting these items you could unlock stuff in Banjo-Tooie. Needless to say, changes in the Nintendo 64's hardware made it so it didn't work properly, so instead they just ended up with a different system where they just had a few items hidden around to unlock the same stuff it would have been. I'll point out more of those things later on when I um, point them out. And actually, I think Mumbo will show us where they all are in the end cutscene if we do 100%, so you can just see them then. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all for this video. I've been Silver Praetorian. Thank you for what. Actually, no, it hasn't been. We should open up the next world. That's what we should do. I got time to kill anyway. I've agreed this was going to be a long video. Um, uh, right, exit the world. But yeah, we should open up the next world because it's kind of a jerk to get to. So let's see. 
jump over here and into the frozen water. Luckily I was close enough to the top that I didn't go into the swimming animation. Alright, so let's head on out of here. Actually, I wonder if Foggy is with his kids. Let's go and check. I'm curious. Ooh, gold feather. I like gold feathers. That puts us up to six. Oh, yeah, he is here. I wish those kids would be quiet. Oh, Boggy needs them. How are you a dad, Boggy? I mean, really? <sighs> would you rather be listening to them crying because they didn't have their presents? He is such a jerk. Alright, where were we? Right, opening the picture door thing to the next world. Alright, so just run here, run away from the snowman who's a jerk. I've been using the word jerk a lot. It works. So right where we need to go is up here. But before we actually go through here, which is no towards where we want to go, let's open up the... Eh, not really doing much. This could be done at any point, but this is another cauldron. If I remember correctly, this will connect us to a point very towards the end of the overworld. So, between the one below us and this one, we basically have a free passage to the end of the game. Without having to go through a lot of the overworld. So anyway, how we open up the next level is we have to go through this note door, and I didn't even bother to check how many notes we needed. I just knew we'd have enough. Alright, that brings us out into this passage. Not much we can do here. Not yet, anyway. Alright, let's see. Next room has Evil Goldfish of Doom. There's not really a lot we can do in this room either. Um, actually, we won't even be able to do anything in here until we're done with the sixth world. I remember I was thinking about it, how many worlds we actually need to do to beat this game. And thinking about it, um, Mumbo's Mountain needs to be done. Let's see, Treasure Trove Cove you need the moves from. You could skip Clanker's Cavern. Bubble Gloop Swamp you could skip. Uh, Freezy Peak you need to do. Gobi's Valley you could skip. Um, and then you need to do Mad the next one, which is, I already started to say it, so Mad Monster Mansion. You could actually skip Rusty Bucket Bay, I think, which I would have no problem skipping Rusty Bucket Bay if I wasn't going for 100%, because it's, it's a real jerk of a level. You guys can see when I get to it. It's the 8th world. And, and then the final world, which I we might actually need to do the final world now that I think about it. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's see if I can not fail my jump a third time. And nicely done. Alright, here we go. We open up this painting, and this will open up Mad Monster Mansion. And if you ask a lot of people what their favorite level is, I'm not sure I haven't exactly checked, but I'm pretty sure Mad Monster Mansion ranks up there, because it is an awesome level, in my opinion. But that won't be till next time, so... Um, see you later. This has been Silver Praetorian. Thank you for watching Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Next time we tackle Mad Monster Mansion. I'll see you all then.